Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, so in this video, we are going to continue talking about the Event Emitter class in Node.js, and specifically, we are going to talk about all the functions on the Event Emitter class that allow us to listen for events. Uh, one of these functions we've seen before it's it's the on function, and what it does is it allows us to uh, provide uh, an event name and a listener that uh, we would like to run every time this event is emitted. Okay, so this setup we have here is something you've seen before. Okay, you can see I'm getting the event emitter class from the events module. I'm creating my own class that extends this event emitter class. And, I'm, and I created my own instance here of the event emitter class. And on this instance, I am listening for events, okay, message events. And every second, I emit an event, uh, a message event. And uh, since I'm listening for it, so what we expect here is to have this function printing approximately every second. So let's go ahead and run this to make sure we are on the same page. OK, so this is what's happening. A message is emitted every second. All right, so let's stop this. And now talk about the rest of the functions that allows you to do something similar to this. Okay, so the next function we'll talk about is the add listener function. Okay, this function allows you to essentially provide the same thing as you would provide for the on function. And by the way, they are alias uh, functions. So add listener is alias for the on function. What that means is, is they behave exactly the same way. All right, so let's provide this uh, message here. That's the event. And uh, here, let's provide the listener. Okay, so let's print console log. What do I want to log? Let's just let's just log that it was added with the add listener. With the add listener function. Okay, so what do we expect here? Because this function, will, this fun, these both of, both of these on and, and add listener functions will behave exactly in the same way. So what we expect here is to have both of these messages uh, are printed every second. Okay. All right. So that's exactly what we're getting, and that's how it's going to work uh, until the end of time if we don't stop it. Okay. So let's stop it. All right. So the next function we want to talk about is the ones function. And this functions, this function, you you will call it in a similar manner as you call the on and the add listener function. Uh, you provide it with an event name and a listener. What it will do, though, is uh, slightly different. It will allow you to listen for that event, but it will fire only the first time this event is emitted. Okay. So, for example, here we are firing this event every second, only the first time this event is emitted. Uh, that's when the, the the function, the listener that's registered with the ones function will be fired. All the other times it will not. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's still listen for the message event. And uh, let's add our listener here. Okay, so what do we want to print here? Let's just print that it will only be fired once console log i will only once all right so let's run this let's see what we get all right so let's stop this and see what it looks like You can see here the first time the event is emitted, I will only fire once it's printed, and all the all the times it's never printed again. All right, so this function allows you to listen for this event, but it will only fire the listener the first time uh, that event is emitted. The next couple of functions we're going to talk about are the prepend listener and the prepend once listener. Uh, the prepend listener. So uh, go ahead and so what this one will do is uh, so let's back up a little bit 
the event emitter will hold the events for a particular uh, uh, will hold the listeners for a particular events in an array okay so this array is just being pushed these these functions these listener functions are just being pushed to this array the prepend listener function will allow you to put a function at the top of that array at position zero which will make that particular listener fire first when uh, this particular event is emitted okay so we're listening to the message event okay so this listener that we're adding here will fire first okay so let's uh, go ahead and print something here let's log what's the message we want to add here is I will fire first okay so that's what the prepend listener function will allow you to do okay let's stop this here let's see what's going on okay this is the start of it so I will fire first even though we added all these other listeners before it the prepend function allows you to put that listener at the top of the array which allow you to just have it fired first whenever that event is emitted okay so the last function that we're going to look at is the prepend once listener now this function is sort of like uh, prepend listener and once got together and had a baby okay so this function will allow you to add your listener at the top of the array and that listener will only fire once okay so let's go ahead and listen for the message event again and let's add a, a function here okay and let's print something let's use dir this time so we can give it a color and this is going to be the winner. Okay. All right, and let's give it some colors. All right. So what we expect here is this to be the first function uh, to fire this right here to be the first function to fire because at the end we're prepending it to that list and it will only be printed once it will only be fired once okay so let's run this and see what we get all right so you see i am the winner yes all right that's it right here i am the winner only fires once and it fires first all right so this is the video guys we've looked at uh, all of the functions that allow you to listen for events in the event emitter class and uh, this is how they work uh, you have on and add listener which are aliases uh, so they work uh, essentially the same way they allow you to provide an event name and a listener and every time this event is emitted your listeners will fire with once your listeners will your listener will fire only once with prepend uh, listener your listeners will fire first and with prepend once listener your listener will fire first and only once all right uh, so this is the video guys uh, please go ahead and subscribe this is uh, um, uh, I have more and more of these videos coming up if you like the videos uh, go ahead and hit the like button and if you've got any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comment section, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time.